Hi, Jan Lee's your loan goddess here. Did you ever get buyer's remorse after making a major purchase? Like your car, you bought the wrong color. You settled for a Ford, but you really wanted a Jeep Wrangler. You wanted a Google Pixel phone, but you settled for Samsung. Did you know that home buyer regret, it's a real thing? Drum roll. There are actually people in this market who regret buying a home, even in this market where there are so few homes and so many buyers. I know people who really stretched their budget and they qualified for a home purchase, but now that house payment eats up a lot of their income, so they're starting to feel kind of house poor. You definitely don't wanna do that. I know people who got really, really excited to close on their home and they got so excited that in the negotiation process, they overlooked some of the things that were on their home inspection. And after they closed on the house, those problems became theirs. Things like a problem with the septic system, problems with the sewer, um, the sewer system, or an electrical system. You should check all of those things out and don't be quite so eager to jump because you don't wanna have buyer's remorse. There are some people that I know that bought in an area that they really weren't quite sure of. They loved the house, but after they moved in, they were too close to a school, but they bought in the summer, so they didn't realize how many children were out there day in and day out during the school year. Um, they bought close to a church and they didn't realize how much traffic there was on the weekend. Um, or they purchased by a busy road, they thought that they could overlook it, uh, but then they really didn't like the sound and the congestion of the heavy traffic. But with all of this stuff, these mistakes are totally avoidable. Don't let the current home shortage, and I do wanna do business with you, but don't make, let that make you feel pressured into buying a home that you're not totally comfortable with in your heart or for your family. Make a list of deal breakers. I've got like my dream list right here, but make a list of deal breakers with your family or with your partner before you actually sign on the dotted line or even really before you call your agent. Do, does your family really require four bedrooms? Don't settle for three bedrooms. Do you really want a basement that you can turn into recreation room? Let me tell you from experience, it is really freaking hard to add a basement after you move into your home. Do you want a two plus car garage? Have you got a motorcycle? Do you have an all-terrain vehicle? Don't get a one car garage. Um, and unless maybe you're a contractor and you can put up a garage for a real on a really limited budget. If you are looking for a specific school district or if you have a child with special needs, make sure that you check all of that out before you sign on the dotted line. And if you want a quiet street, don't settle for one that has a lot of traffic. Only you know what is right for your family and your lifestyle and buying a home is a huge decision so you need to plan for it. Don't get buyer's remorse. Make sure that you call me, Jan Leisure Your Loan Goddess first to get you pre-qualified. My team is wonderful and we really wanna be your lender.